the last 50 years, the oil field's been a, a major economic benefit for the whole area. There's many opportunities up here. There's definitely lots of oil left here. Hopefully we'll get some pipelines and the oil companies can actually get the world price for their oil and we can ship more, which would benefit this area greatly. Along with traditional oil and gas, um, new technologies are being brought in to enhance the development of that traditional oil and gas. And one of them is, of course, CO2 EOR has shown to be um, of value. The second one that we're looking at is uh, potential to put a standalone power production facility using that natural gas and powering the local communities. It has the ability for us to utilize our own gas to create our own power and keeping the jobs local. Today we run about 25 full-time employees and we'll get up to about 60 or 70 in the winter time. Some have been with me since the beginning, um, like 10 year employees for sure. With the camps and remote lodging and general trucking we, we stay busy, there's enough to do in this area. There is a lot of oil and gas still here. It is very rich in natural resources. Rainbow Lake is going to be a place to boom again, same with Zama and north up to Steen River. There is a lot of resources here. We have a new to us company that has come in and is drilling into a zone that hasn't been touched for a long time. With the new technologies that have come forth and have been worked on and have been developed by energy and by oil and gas companies over the last 20 years, they feel that this is an actual prospect. The town itself is excited about this possibility and it could be a game changer here for the north. The, the people here welcome anybody with open arms, with all their ideas, anything that they're gonna bring to the community. One thing I truly found that it's the people that are looking to start a business are the ones who do succeed here. Oil and gas companies, oil and gas service companies, and anyone who works in this industry goes to work every day to do something a little bit better than they did the day before. With the growing technology and with new technology that is coming in and being tested, the 70% of the known resources that, we sit are, that we're sitting on right now has the ability to actually be extracted ethically and responsibly and you know, in a way that sustains communities as well as provide increased funding for the provincial government to use for schools and hospitals and roads and, and all the things that urban areas enjoy that we work really hard to supply. <laughs>